mostly just buy skins. Let's just jump into it. I'm 54 on this season spell pass, which is good. I'm on par. I've got all the challenges up until this point done. As I record this, uh, week seven starts tomorrow, but when you're watching this, it'll have been out for a couple of days. Um, so I'm trying to get, I really am not a huge fan of the fork bite thing. They're so tedious and there are so many of them. And it's just really disorganized to where it's not like, it's not easy to, to play on a couple in a single game. It's always like, I just, I've only gotten 25 and I really don't have the motivation to work through them, but I know that I want to because uh, I want the stuff you get from it. You get this one from 90. And like, that's not even that cool. I mean, it's definitely cool, but it's not that cool. I mean, it's definitely cool, but it's not that cool. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, anyway, that's my own stuff to work with. We'll kind of end with the best for last. Let's go through just kind of the fluff stuff really quick, the quick stuff. As far as weapon skins go, or wraps, I mean, uh, I think most of these, if not all of them, are battle pass ones. I don't think I've bought any. Um, and I have a pretty wide assortment just from battle pass, so I don't feel bad about it. Um, my favorites are just like the all black one, uh, this kind of carbon fiber gold one, and then there's something really nice about the red and black one too. Um, but yeah, actually I've been meaning to add some of these to rotation. So nothing too crazy here, nothing nothing you haven't seen before. Uh, music tracks, just battle pass only again, I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> so many wallpapers. I just have a bunch of them as, as favorite, and those are on shuffle. I really like these too, they're just so ridiculous. Um, anyway, so emotes, I don't think anyone cares too much about. Um, the emoticons, or sprays, or toys. So we're going to look at emotes. I have the best and the only one that you need. The original dance move. I hate the sound this one makes. Luckily my audio is off right now, but I hate the sound. That, this, that little squeak. Oh, there's a classic, just a little wave. It's crying. Oh, look, that one doesn't really work on the skin very well, does it? It's like I'm choking myself. Ugh. Uh, classic. Well, you know. The Christmas version of a classic. There's a good old salute. Also doesn't really work on the skin. I really like the simplicity of that one. That one's nice. Yeah, I love how this is ridiculous this dance is. It looks really funny on him, especially. I always keep this one equipped because I really like using this as a uh, little before we charge kind of just in the middle of a battle I'll use the emote to sort of like jokingly hype up my teammates. Um, yeah, that one's good. Honestly, I like a lot of the green ones. I'm not super into the dances. I like the like the usable. I like, like the usable simple like green emotes. Like ones where it's not a dance move, it's just like, like an action. I like the wave. Alright, there's a classic. Season 3. Rust Lord and Take the L. Those were the days. There you go. These emotes are just extra funny because of the skin. I don't think I've looked at them on him before. I like that they made his his mouth move and stuff. This one's pretty good. Like like I said, I'm not huge into the dances. I think the dances are silly. Popcorn's funny. Classic. I love the backstory of this one with the kid and the challenge and the video that went viral. So funny that they actually put it in. That one's cool. Yeah. I'm taking too long on the dances. I'll, I'll move a little faster. This one's just odd to me. I don't know what a weird emote to make. Uh, that one's a good one, actually. Yeah, rocket fish sticks. Mic drop. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Classic. 
classic. Once again, classic. Okay, and here we go. We're getting to my favorites at the top, but are the ones I have equipped. So anyway, enough of these silly dances. The good stuff is I like that one for being ironic. This one's funny for just being a goofy dance to break out. This one for those clutch sniper dodges are just annoying people. I love just walking around with this one on. I like all the emotes that you can walk around with, which of which there aren't many, but I really like just walking around like in the middle of a fight doing this emote. Just I imagine someone in their sniper scope just looking at a bunch of people fighting and they just see Mr. Fish sticks walking by dancing, doing the conga. This one I bought way, I think this is the first purchase I ever made with V-Bucks. I had just bought the first Battle Pass I ever bought, which was season three, and it was just when they were starting to actually put new emotes in the store that were using, like, that worked at dances. And this one popped up, and I was like, this one's unique. I haven't seen it before, so I bought it. And honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anyone else use that emote. Not like it's that cool or anything, but it definitely feels special, and it feels special that I have it. Also, I grinded the heck out of uh, whatever season this was from. Um, the Napoleon Dynamite dance because I was, it was one of the seasons where I hadn't played much and I was way behind but I was like no way am I not getting this dance so love it anyway uh, let's be faster let's go through these oh, that's actually pretty cool put it on favorites there's some that I really don't like down here don't like that one that one's alright I'll put that in the rotation um silly the ones that like they try to add something to your hands but it looks silly because it's just floating there uh, no 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 bubbles is all right bananas is a nice idea but just it's just odd that they just like pasted it and float it just floats by your hands uh, uh, yeah so i have all the basic i don't think i bought any of these are all battle pass so Either battle pass or events. I don't know if any of these are from events. Yeah. I really like just the classic flames one though. Sometimes I'll just equip that one. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's that. Umbrellas and gl just gliders in general. Um, my most prized possession this guy, the Mako, which is largely considered to be the rarest glider in the game because of it, I think it was get level 25 in like season one, it was like something, it was basically play a lot way back when, and so if you didn't get this then, then you, you don't have it, so it's ultra rare, so usually I'll equip it when I'm recording because people are always like, well, he's got the Mako one, um, so if only I was as good as it implies that I am, because I'm not good enough to have the Mako, but I have it. Anyway, let's look at the ones I don't like first. I really don't care for this model. Like, these ones are all just recolors of the same thing. And granted, you know, they do a good job for recoloring, but I just don't like how bulky and square this glider is, so I never use any of these. Um, and then I also don't like the really silly bulky ones, too. Like, I don't like this one, or this one, or this one, another recolor, nah, that one's alright, a little boat, yeah, like, I don't like it, the little huge ones, you can't even see where you're flying, um, anyway, I do, I love the, I love the umbrellas, I feel like I'm overusing the word simplicity right now, but I love the simplicity of the umbrellas, I like how you hold them, I like how little space they take up on your screen, and I like how they're all the same shape, but they manage to make them all unique, like I really like this season's the holographic one, probably the coolest umbrella so far, and this one was probably the previous coolest one, because they kind of like made it not look like an umbrella, they kind of made it, you know, a little spicier. 
here's the original Victory Umbrella. Just plain and simple. Then you got season two. Season three. That's a good one. Season four. Season where's five? Five. Six. And then seven. one. 
skin. Uh, good old cape. I like the capes. I wish there were more capes. There are a few, but not enough. Got the bat wings. I've got some cool uses for that. I'll show you guys in a minute. Honestly, I like this one most because it's just small and it doesn't cover up your skin too much. But it makes you look cool. Like, I use this one probably the most. Just Ninja Zarg makes everyone look a little cooler. Like the Riot Shield. Angel Wings. Nice. I like this one too. It's simple, but it's cool. It looks good with a lot of skins. Cape. This one, it just reminds me of Destiny 1. There was a uh, pretty rare drop you could get from a certain strike mission. There are certain bosses that would drop. Um, there were the mind flares. They would drop one of these. There was a blue one, a purple one, and an orange one. Uh, where it was just like two kind of strips, except they like were a little more transparent in Destiny. But every time I see that, that's all I could think of is the mind flares. Uh, there's that one. Okay, now for the good good. No beacon. We'll work our way up. Teacher, it was a free skin. Battle pass. Okay, you know, I'm actually gonna not name what these are all from because <laughs> last time I did this, I got, I tried naming everything where they all came from and I got some wrong. All the comments are just people pointing out which ones I got wrong. So I'm not gonna say what season I think they're from or which ones came from Twitch packs or which ones came from PlayStation celebration packs or whatever. Events, we're just gonna look at them. I've never used this one. I don't like it. It's hella weird from the back, and it's hella weird from the front. Uh, also, I don't think I've ever used that one either, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. See, everything looks cool with the ninja sword. I still sometimes will use this one, just because it's kind of a throwback to the good old days where this was a skin everyone had, and they had no other skins, because it was freaking season three, and nobody else had really bought a battle pass until season three because the game was just getting popular. So no one was buying skins. They were just using no skin. Then they bought the Battle Pass because it was a good deal. And this is the first skin you got out of it. So literally half the games or more, probably like 80% of every game was just Rust Lords with Take the L. And you know what? Those were some good times. I don't think I've ever used this one either, but I've got the three different styles for it. Never used, never used, never used. I still do not like either of these. They made it so you can either close the helmet or no helmet, which improves them slightly, because I think this isn't a bad skin like that. The guy ain't bad, but not gonna use. I use this skin like once. I feel like it needs style options, even if it's just in hair options. I feel like I like the skin, but her hair just bugs me too much. I don't think I've ever used this one. It's a nice idea, really, but it's just too silly for me to ever want to use. Um, this one, nice and colorful. Big Beard, Jonesy. I always feel kind of bad for me. It just looks so, like, scared and lost and afraid. Which, you know, he is. Um... I never really used that one. Same with that one. Okay, we're getting towards the good stuff. Um, Valor, where are you at? There you go. This one is like, it's a cool design. It's like a Wonder Woman outfit, but her face just looks oddly proportioned for some reason that I just, I don't know. But I still have used this one. It looks cool from the back. It's just that her, her, there's something off about it. I can't figure it out. This guy got different faces. Chicken robot. I really like this one. I really hope to get it. Little Gundam suit here. This one's good. Drift. Honestly, I almost just prefer default, like base drift stage one. It became like everyone was playing Rust Lord, and then once people started getting the late Battle Pass skins, it was like everyone was using Rust Lord, and then all the good. 
good players were using Dark Voyager. And you feared a Dark Voyager because it was like, oh my gosh, he plays the game more than us. Uh, Carbide. Honestly, this again is just okay. It's pretty cool once you have it fully upgraded, but still. My favorites, Laguna, simple skin, good old fish stick, honestly love this one, um, they just put out this new version of it a couple weeks ago, the VR one, I like when a skin I already have gets different versions, and, um, I am not good enough to have a soccer skin, uh, soccer skins have become the ultimate, like, sweaty, tryhard skins, but that ain't me, I bought this one a long time ago, I actually bought this one on accident, but I was actually happy I did because I like the color options you get on it, uh, but yeah, I bought this one a long time ago, I think the first time the soccer skins came out, I bought this one, so, um, there's that, uh, this one's cool, pretty simple, just bought this one a couple days ago, Bandolette, surprised it was only a blue tier skin, not a, not a purple. Um, Zoe, Wingman, Wild, kind of, uh, I don't know, Instagram model skin. <laughs> I don't know. It came with one of those packs that gave you V-Bucks, so I bought it. Um, powder, different versions. Both pretty cool. Rogue Agent also known as off-brand Master Chief. Um, Sidewinder, I really like that they gave you this extra skin, uh, because this one, like, this one's alright, but this one's actually pretty dope. This one's pretty cool. Like, the glowing hair is pretty cool. Um, Summit Striker. I like it. Sun Strider. This one kind of throws me back, because this is, like, since season four, it had like some of the best memories in season four for some reason. This skin, I used it like almost all the way through season four, and season four was like one of the best as far as how the map was and how things were and what different weapons there were. Good times, the simpler days. So I see the skin and it's just a breath of nostalgia. Um, the ace just unlocked. I like this style probably the most. The other two are just actually that one's alright. This one's okay, but I really like this one. Um, Peely or Banana Man, whatever you want to call it. Really like this one. I think it's odd that it that they made this skin though because it doesn't really have a head. You know, like the whole the whole uh, cosmetics don't grant any sort of competitive advantage. This one definitely makes it harder to snipe. Sure, like, you can you can know where his head is just from, like, practicing, but, like, you definitely can shoot right to the top of the banana because there's technically nothing there for the hitbox. So, competitive advantage. <laughs> Debatable. Uh, I like this one. I like the, this version of it better, but they're both good. Uh, Fable, Red Riding Hood. I really like this one. I like both versions of it, honestly. I grinded to get this one because I didn't finish this battle pass, but I made sure to get her. And then I was pleasantly surprised to see, like, a little bit later they put out this one, and I was like, wow. I like it because it's, like, straight out of Morrowind. It's like an Elder Scrolls Night Elf look, which is really cool. Um, Elite Agent recently gave me the option to take the helmet off. Um, this one is a great skin. I still use it from time to time. Looks good with a ninja sword, as does everything. Um, Dusk, Black Widow. I very happy I bought this one. Um, especially since you know who knows if the Avengers skins will ever come back. I kind of wanted to buy the Star Lord one as well, but I didn't. I knew I had to pick one, so I picked Black Widow. And not this one. Very cool. Very cool skin. Looks great with a ninja sword as does everything, and you can make her blonde if you want, but personally, I think the red looks better. Uh, Zenith, um, looks cool, I don't really care for any stage ex 
except for the last one with all black. And then from there you can color these. Oh, they all look pretty cool, but I like the green. Looks pretty cool like that. Really kind of bulky, but looks good with the ninja sword. As does everything. Ah, links. The try art skin of season seven. I really like it though. It's cool. All the colors look good. I like to play it like red or blue and then match like my back bling and pickaxe and everything to match that colors. I'm just like all blue, all red, all black. Um, but this one's cool too. Uh, let's see, we got Omega. I did not get the lights. This is before the time where they let you work on the XP post season. It was like if you didn't get it, you didn't get it. And I didn't get it. It was like, it was reach season level 80, and I think I got to like 65 with tons of grinding. Like that was well past tier 100. And once you get to 65, or even close to that, the level ups take forever, especially with no more challenges to do. So it was just like, it was a stupid amount of time I would have to play, and I did not have time for it. So do I regret it? Not really at all. Because I'd never use this skin. I actually would probably regret having had worked all that time to get it and then never use it. So I, I look at this and I'm like, wow, thank goodness I didn't waste that time for all that. But uh, bless those who did. Um, there's this guy. Oops, didn't mean to equip him. Um, I honestly prefer like this stage without the mask. Like, yeah, unless it's four, where he just looks like a badass, like God of War type skin. Uh, the mask kind of like makes, you know, it's a cool mask and everything, but I kind of like that this is just like, he looks like a beast. This just looks very, like, too far out there for me to really relate to. Too. All right, rocks. I really like rocks. Um, I'm still missing the black color. I need 10 more fort bites for that. Um, I really like the variety you get out this one with the different stages and the different colors. In some ways, I just almost prefer just the pre-armor, like stage one. You get a lot out of that. It was kind of nice giving her two different sets of color. You can pick color outfit and then color like accent, which also does the socks, which is a big thing to color as a secondary color. So gives you lots of options. I kind of like stage two or three. Um, but once I get that one, I'll probably use it. Uh, Ruin. Pretty, uh, pretty monsterly, beastly man. Ice King. I still don't even have the last <laughs> tier for him. That's hilarious. Um, yeah. Ironically, I feel like this one looks the best. This one looks pretty cool, but like, I don't know. I don't want to be gold and orange. Prisoner. This is one I almost, like, forgot to do you had to go find all the keys and I like realized I had to do it before the season ended so I like was like oh shoot the season ends in like two days and I went and like did all that really quick but I almost missed this one so I'm glad I got it oops uh the original John Wick skin Reaper it's funny now that they've made the new one you realize that this one looks kind of bad but it's more just a testament for how they've upgraded the way that they make skins and how detailed they put them because this looks very cartoony, whereas the new one looked a lot more like John Wick, you know. So I am proud of having this one, though. This is, this is tier 100 for season 3, so it feels good to have it. Um, so I like it. This one's cool. I prefer this, just the kind of Mutant Ninja Turtles villain look. Um, they all of these different colors are cool. I like the black, I like the white and blue. I guess that's just eyes without the, you know, the dragon part. And that looks cool too, but I like this. I like this. That's just really simple and cool. Um, Enforcer. Pretty neato. Dire. I grinded a lot for this guy, and I'm kind of happy I did. It wasn't a skin I particularly cared about at the time, but I do use it from time to time, so I think it's good that I actually grinded for it. It's a good looking skin. Uh, Calamity. 
looks pretty cool, fully upgraded, but I have stage four equipped because I think it's my favorite. Um, I do like it when she gets the full coat thing, but I kind of like prefer it when it's not all flippy floppy or it's just still pretty sleek. So, good skin. Uh, Pirate Man. Once again, I kind of just prefer the old version, like the original stage of it is like almost the coolest. Just like a swashbuckling pirate. Pretty cool. And last but not least, my probably favorite skin right now, Ark, aka Mercy from Overwatch knockoff, uh, which is why I like her, I think. It's a very good looking skin. I like the use of the gold and the white and the black. It's sleek. It's cool. It's cool. It's sleek. What I like to do with it is equip this with the bat wings, you know, for a good old sense of irony and angel with demon wings, but I really like that combo, I played that, uh, that combo for like a week straight, um, really like the skin, and I have her pickaxe too, you saw it earlier in this one, so, really, really like it, um, my other favorite combos are, um, I like Black Widow with the wings on, I like Black Widow with the cape on, even, I like Ruin with the wings on if I want to be uh, one of those types of people. But I also like to use him with like something like this. Like, oh, isn't that funny? It's a big scary lava guy with an inflatable unicorn on his back. That's so ironic. And quirky. Um, she's cool. I used her with... What, what did I use? a backpack. Otherwise I'll use Dyer with a cape. So spooky. Anyway, but my favorite right now is definitely Ark with uh, the bat wings or the ninja sword or robot wings. So very cool. Really like the skin. Current favorite. I love it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end it here. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to play some solos for you next week and get wrecked. Um, so stick around for that. Uh, yeah, this is your captain signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.